Again, let us recall the general equation of non-uniform pressure in ETABs. It is given by the equation P equals AX plus VY plus CZ plus D. But this equation can be simplified further. If you recall, the global axis in ETABs, this is the vertical axis which is the Z axis, the horizontal axis X and Y. Now, if you look at the pressure diagram, the force is only acting at the vertical axis, meaning to say that the component at x and y is zero. Eventually, this will cancel out. So the equation boiled down to P equals CZ plus D. With this equation, we now know that the pressure diagram is a function of the height. Now let me, let me just discuss important points here before we continue with uh, defining the values of C and D. For the first diagram, at Z equals 0, the pressure is 35.32. But as we go to a height of 3.6, the pressure will eventually reach to 0. For the second diagram, at Z equals 0 or at the datum, the pressure is 27.6. But as we go on top of the water tank, the pressure will become 6 kilopascal. Now having known all those points, we will now apply to the general equation. First condition, using the first diagram, at Z equals 0, as I have said, the pressure is also 35.32, meaning to say, supplying those points here on the general equation, we now have 35.32 equals C multiplied by, of course, our Z here is 0 because we are at the datum, plus D. This will cancel out, meaning to say that our D is 35.32. Case 2. At Z equals 3.6 or at the top of the water tank. B, the pressure will eventually reach to 0. So 0 equals C multiplied by the height of 3.6 plus D. But we already have the value of D which is 35.32 plus 35.32. Simplifying the equation, we now get the value of C as negative 35.32 all over by 3.6 which is negative 9.81. For the first diagram, we now have the value for C, which is negative 9.81, and D, which is 35.32. We now go for the second diagram. At Z equals 0, we know that the pressure there is 27.6 kilopascal. Substituting to our general equation here, we have 27.6 equals C multiplied by 0 plus D. So we have now the value of D since this will cancel out as 27.6. Second condition will be at Z equals 3.6 or simply at the top of water tank. Our general equation will be P equals CZ plus D. Our pressure there is not 0 but we have 6 kilopascal. 6 kilopascal equals C multiplied by the height of 3.6 plus the value of V which is already computed as 27.6. Now simplifying further the equation, C now is equals to, using your calculator, C now is equals to negative 6. Now, we already computed the value of C, which is negative 6, and D, which is 27.6. We now have the values of C and D for both cases. Next is, we will apply these values in our ETABS model. Now, we are ready to apply the loads. But before that, let me create the load combination. Click Define and go to Load Combination. Add New Combo and let's create EH service. Click the load name and select EH. 
Now, I'd like to discuss some important points here. Since the two forces are acting towards each other, meaning to say that the soil is pushing the wall inward while the water is pushing the wall outward. So to be consistent with the local axis, we will assign a scale factor of negative 1 for E edge. And click OK. Now we add another combination which is WH service. And we choose the load name as WH. We will assign scale factor of 1 and click OK. Now we're going to create another combination for ultimate. And we have here EH ultimate. And let's choose the load name as EH. Now to be consistent with the local axis, we have to assign here a factor of negative 1.6. As per the ACI code for live load, we have 1.6 scale factor. And click OK. Add the last load combination, which is the WH Ultimate. Click the load name and choose WH and assign here a scale factor of 1.6 and click OK. And we save the different load combination. Now we are ready to assign the load combination, but first let me select the ground level to easily apply the loads. We select the exterior walls and assign shell loads non-uniform. Now we are at the shell load assignment, but we have to select the correct load pattern name, which is, let's have first WH. Let's make sure that the direction is local negative 3 to be consistent. And also the restrictions is use all values and for the options we choose replace existing loads. Now as you notice, A and B is zero because there is no component for the X and Y. Now we're going to supply C and D values according to our computation in the pressure diagram. So let's go back on our pressure diagram. As you notice, the value of C is negative 9.81 and D is 35.32. So we will supply these values. Forget about negative 6 and 27.6. These are the values that I have applied earlier. So negative 9.81 and 35.32. When you're done, click OK. Select Get Previous Selection to be able to select the previous selected walls. And then apply or assign shell loads non-uniform and choose EH. Again, we will retain the direction as local negative 3 to be consistent. And let's go to the pressure diagram. The value of C and D is negative 6 and 27.6. So we will supply these values here. This is negative 6 and this is um, 27.6. 27.6 positive. When we are done, click OK. Now that we already applied the different values, I have to explain that why I did not apply loads at the interior wall. Well, because the compartment is divided into two equal parts, so the forces or the pressure will be counteracted by each other and eventually that will boil down to zero. Now we have to view it in a 3D model so that we'll have a, a better look of our model and at the same time to be able to figure it out the result of our analysis. Click this icon button here and it will run the analysis. After we run the analysis, you will find out the deformed shape but we are not after that. Click this icon button here which will display the shell forces stresses. If we want to find out the maximum service moment, just click the combination that you want to show, let's say for example, EH service, and choose M11, display deformed shape, and click apply. If you notice, 
the wall is being pushed inward, meaning to say that our assumption for the EH or the earth pressure which will push the wall inward is correct. If you notice, the maximum moment is almost at the middle. If you click this area diagram here, right click and put your cursor inside, you will find out that the maximum moment is almost negative 13 kilonewton meter. Now if you want to check some other locations, say for example at this edge, just right click and put your cursor, it's negative 12, so it's almost the same. If you choose M22 and click apply, you will find out that the maximum moment is at the base which has a value of negative 24 or let us say negative 25 kilonewton meter. So that's for the load combination EH service. What about for the load combination WH service? Let's choose M11 first or M11. Now the maximum moment is at the center and if you notice for the load combination WH which is the water pressure it's pushing the wall outward meaning to say that our assumption is correct. If you click your cursor here or if you put your cursor here you will find out that the maximum moment is almost 12 or 13 kilonewton meter. Now, if you want to know also some other locations at the edge, you right click and put your cursor inside and you will find out that the maximum moment is approximately the same as positive 13 kilonewton meter. Let's choose M22 direction. Now, for M22 direction, the maximum moment, I guess, is at the base of the water tank. Let's put our cursor here and we will find out. And we find out that the maximum moment is 25 kilonewton meter. Or 27 kilonewton meter here. You can also find your maximum moments here. So it's on other locations. Maybe at the other side. But this is almost symmetrical. So they should have the same moment. So it's here. 27 kilonewton meter. Yeah, it's there. 27 kilonewton meter. Now we are done showing the different combinations for service. Now we want to show also the ultimate combination. But before that, I would like to clarify that it is not always the ultimate combination which will govern the design. Sometimes we need to check both the service moments for the crack width analysis and at the same time for the ultimate combination. Let's go for the ultimate combination. Let's have EH ultimate. As you notice, for the EH ultimate, it's pushing the wall inward. Meaning to say that our assumption is correct. And if we want to know the maximum moment, it's almost at the bottom for M22. If you click this area diagram here, you will find out that the maximum moment is almost negative 41 kilonewton meter. If you choose M11, you will find out that the maximum moment is at the middle if you click this area diagram and put your cursor here you'll find out negative 21 kilonewton meter and if you want to check some other locations at the edge just right click and it will give you almost the same as negative 20 kilonewton meter so that's for the EH ultimate what about for the WH ultimate or for the water pressure click apply and you will find out that the maximum ultimate moment is at the middle right click the area diagram and put your cursor inside you will find out positive 20 kilonewton meter also for the edge right click and put your cursor here you will find positive 21 kilonewton meter for other directions m22 click apply and you will find out that the maximum moment is almost at the base of the tank which will give a maximum moment of you can find out also here the maximum of 45 kilonewton meter probably in other locations but at the base of the water tank and almost at the middle of each compartment so those are the different values of service moments and ultimate moments now that i have shown you the different moments i give you the task to input these values in your spreadsheets for crack with analysis using ACI code so that you will compare which one will govern 
Is it the crack with analysis or the ultimate analysis? Whatever governs, what's important is that you choose the worst case scenario. Thank you for listening on this simple presentation on how to use shell area non-uniform pressure using ETUBS. If you have further questions, corrections, or violent reactions, you can comment down below and I will be happy to read and respond to your comments.